Well, hey, everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News TV. And in today's show, I want to go ahead and start with a video that went viral on TikTok late last year. And that will lead into uh, today's discussion. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. My son has worms in his anus. No one tells you about this stuff when you are thinking about becoming a parent. But apparently it's like super normal for a child just to have worms in his booty hole. Going by some medicine, not freaking out. This is apparently super chill and totally normal. It happens all the time when kids test their booty holes and test their mouths. And I, I don't know. No one. Okay. So there we have, we have um, a guy named Justin. He's a dad, obviously, and he runs a TikTok page uh, called Drum Beat Lane. And he took to TikTok and to tell the world about this horrible thing that happened uh, with his son. In fact, it is pinworms. Um, he says in the beginning, you know, my son has worms in his anus. Um, then he goes on to say, no one tells you about this stuff when you're thinking about being a parent. But apparently it's like super normal for a child to just have worms in his booty hole. Well, there was a re response um, among the millions of people that watched it. And it was from a pediatrician, a video reply. And basically, basically she responded, quote, Justin, sir, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But if your son has worms in his booty hole, sir, politely and respectively, uh, respectfully, you also have worms in your booty hole. So that leads up to today's conversation. And that is a talk about pinworms. Pinworms, or the scientific name Enterobius vermicularis, it's also called threadworm in some other countries, is a roundworm or a nematode. So let's uh, take a look at what does that mean? What is a nematode? In general, a nematode um, is a worm that are round, have uh, tapered ends at both sides, has a head and a tail, and an outer covering or skin called a cuticle. It has a mouth at the anterior end and an esophagus that leads to a digestive tract and an anus at the posterior end. It has a primitive excretory system, it has a muscular system, and it has a pseudocele. Separate sexes and a reproductive system with a massive potential. Eggs in large numbers are produced by the females. To survive, the worms must obtain food from the environment. When it's in its larval stage or outside the host as a free living uh, uh, larva, in the environment, it feeds on bacteria. But as parasites, they feed on the host, uh, food from the digestive tract, from the tissue, or from the blood. So in a nutshell, this describes a nematode or a roundworm. What is a pinworm? Well, pinworm infection is caused by a small, thin, white roundworm called Enterobius vermicularis, as I already said. Although pinworm infection can infect affect all people, it most commonly occurs among children, institutionalized people, and household members of persons with pinworm infection. Hint, hint, Justin. How common is pinworm? Pinworm is the most common worm infection in the United States. According to one paper um, published back in 2000, Pinworm affects almost 1 billion people worldwide from all socioeconomic classes. In the U.S., it affects from 20 to 40 million people. So how do you contract pinworm and what is its life cycle? While transmission is mostly hand to mouth after scratching the perianal region and whole families often get infected. Now, the life cycle is the pregnant or the gravid adult females deposit eggs on the perianal folds. Infection occurs when self-inoculation, right, the transfer of eggs to the mouth with the hands that have scratched the perianal area. 
or through exposure to eggs in the environment, for example, contaminated surfaces, clothing, bed linens, etc. Now, following the ingestion of infective eggs, the larvae hatch in the small intestine and the adults establish themselves in the colon. The time interval from ingestion of infective eggs to the laying of eggs by the adult females is about one month. At full maturity, adult females measure 8 to 13 millimeters and the adult males about 2 to 5 millimeters. The lifespan of these worms is about two months. The pregnant females migrate nocturnally at night outside the anus and uh, um, oviposit uh, their eggs in the skin of the perianal area. Now the larvae contain inside the eggs developed, uh, become infective in about four to six hours under optimal conditions. Rarely eggs may become airborne and be inhaled and swallowed. Eggs get dispersed around the house, especially in the bedroom. So like when you're taking off the bed sheets and you shake the bed sheets, the eggs can float around, end up on the dresser top where they are still infective right there on the furniture. What does a pinworm look like? Well, the adult worms that would be on the right are about the length of a staple. They are typically whitish, spindle-shaped worms pointed at both ends. This, is, this picture of the adult is obviously in a different type of photographic mode, so it doesn't look white, but they are white. They also have a cephalic um, swelling or LA at the anterior end. And you can see that where it kind of like spreads out on each side. Now the eggs um, can only be seen microscopically and are often described as a loaf of bread appearance, right? It's thin shelled, ovoid and flattened on one side. Um, often you can see the larva inside it. Um, the eggs of Enterobius vermicularis measure 50 to 60 microns by 20 to 30 microns. The disease or the pathology. Uh, well, typically pinworm infection causes uh, itching around the anus, which can lead to some difficulty in sleeping, restlessness, maybe some eczema. Um, symptoms are caused, of course, by the female pinworm coming out at night, laying their eggs in that area. Uh, symptoms of pinworm infection are usually mild, and a lot of times they're asymptomatic, and this is all dependent upon uh, the worm burden. The worms are known to travel to ectopic locations or the wrong place, um, like the vagina and other areas, introducing bacteria to the urinary tract, causing UTIs in girls. Diagnosis. Eggs are rarely found in the feces, like in other parasitic diseases. Itching during the night in a child's perianal area strongly suggests pinworm infection. Diagnosis is made by identifying the worm or its eggs. Worms can sometimes be seen in the skin near the anus or on underclothing, pajamas, or sheets about two to three hours after falling asleep. Now, pinworm eggs can be collected and examined using a cellophane tape test or, as I have here in the picture, a pinworm paddle as soon as the person wakes up. This test is done by uh, pressing firmly the adhesive side of the pinworm paddle um, to the skin around the anus. The eggs will stick to it and, the, and it can be placed on a slide and looked at under a microscope. And that's what, on the right-hand side, you can see what the eggs would look like on the pinworm paddle under the microscope. Now, because washing, bathing, or having a bowel movement can remove eggs from the skin, this test should be done as soon as the person wakes up in the morning before they wash, bathe, or go to the toilet. This test should be done in three consecutive mornings to increase the chance of finding the eggs. Pinworm is very treatable. Uh, the medications used for treatment of pinworm are either mabendazole, parental pomoate, or albendazole. 
any of these drugs are given in one dose initially, and then an another single dose of the same drug two weeks later, parental Pomoe is available without prescription, so that should be over the counter. The medication does not reliably kill pinworm eggs, so reinfection is common. Therefore, a second dose to prevent reinfection by adult worms that hatch from any eggs not killed by the first treatment is necessary. And lastly, prevention. Uh, different things you can do to prevent the uh, pinworm infection. Eliminate the source of infection by treating all cases. Wash the hands thoroughly before handling food or before eating. Keep the fingernails short. Uh, discourage nail biting and avoid scratching the anal area. Take early morning showers to help wash away any eggs deposited overnight around the anal area. Change to clean underclothing, nightshirts, and bedsheets daily, preferably after bathing. Take special care to avoid spreading eggs when changing bedsheets. Uh, so, yeah, those are things you need to look at um, for prevention of pinworm. And that is today's show. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on Outbreak News TV.